Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oluwa, Oritsu, and Ife Oluwa Oshogeye. Hey guys. Mm -hmm. I was going to call you Ewa Oluwa Oshogeye. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's ha. a match made in heaven now. So mm. It's not a problem for you to introduce us mm. like that. Yeah, it's mm. no problem. It's no problem. It's no problem. Okay. Or you can introduce me as a fellow or All right. So we have a fellow or I think and that works <laughs> that's, that's, that's really nice. <laughs> Anyways, we are starting with, uh, I think it's uh, a worrisome story. It's about techno. And um, he took down all his um, posts on Instagram and then he put out a message saying tables. Table stone table or table stone. Stone. Stone or table something, stone. right? I, I feel I don't know techno <laughs> personally, but because I we followed his story for about um, five months now, and we know what he um, said when he the, the had an thing. interview with Daddy Freeze and what he has gone through mm. and all that. I feel like he's going through a lot right now mm. because I know, I mean, from what he has said, that he has spent so much in getting himself back to where he is. Mm. And I want to, I mean, it should, it's not even another rumor. It's, it's a fact that he also spent so much to push out some singles and do the things that he has done. So I, I can't say I know what he's going through, but deep down, I feel like he's going through a lot. And I just want to say that if you hang in there, that it will all Get work better. out for mm. best. Because I mean, he's very talented. He's a producer, he's a writer, he's a singer. It's, I think he will be fine. So whatever it is, I just want to tell Dekno that it's a face and that he will come out of this one stronger. No, you go. You go. All right, so um, for the Techno story, I think um, we all have our downtime mm -hmm. moments in life, regardless of who we are, regardless of what we have accomplished, regardless of what, all our achievements. This is a downtime for techno, and it's not a feeling to express it, but one thing I will always question is, why do we always take down all our Instagram pictures and all of that? Because those are the things that remind us of all the good times. Mm. So if you choose to forget the good times in your life and the memories you have kept and sharing it with your fans and your followers, then I think it's a big problem which is being faced by our entertainers because they feel like, okay, when I'm in my downtime moment, when I'm in my saddest moment, I take down all my pictures. No, so I don't, don't think they do it when they're in their downtime. I think they do it for different reasons. Some of them do it actually in their mind. They feel like they're going for another space. They're going to another space mm. in their life. Like, I think Tori Abraham did it when she had her child. Mm. Uh, somebody else did it recently. I, I did not know this, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I know that yeah, people do it. It's not necessarily, I, don't, I get what you're saying. I, feel, I don't think I want to take down all my posts. In fact, there are some posts I feel like, oh, I want to take it down for, I feel like I don't want it out there anymore. But Look, in my mind, I'm wondering, post, where would I see it again? I have posts on my right? Instagram that I would never take down. Mm. As in, I've taken down a lot of pictures. I still have a lot of pictures on mm. Instagram. But I've taken down a lot of pictures. But there are certain pictures that remind me of certain. I think women. whiskey. You did can it always too archive recently. all those pictures. No, no, no. Mm. Definitely. If you want you can, to see them, you, you can see bring them. it back. Like but I don't public. need to show you my vulnerability by taking out my good time. Because regardless of what is going on in my life, whether or not it's good, it's bad. Mm memories last forever you know that's how you see it some people don't see it that way yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 differently. yeah we're and i think i'm friendly. fine that he's being vulnerable with everybody because it means that you're not trying vulnerability to hold. no weakness no weakness techno please as a man uh, what a man what you, I won't even allow you to continue that. Why? Please, as a man, you have the right to be weak. You as have the right man, to cry. Men cry. You have the as right a, to show your emotions. You didn't let me learn. And I'm glad that you are doing it. You said no weakness. Learn. So I'm coming yeah, from that. Yeah, no angle. weakness. There is weakness. Thank you. Listen. Thank you. Listen. Mm. As a man to a man, <laughs> no weakness. You have issues right now. You have things going on. Tables will turn. Mm. All of that. Definitely, techno is assured of success. Whether we like it or not, he's a producer, he's a singer. I like your introduction about him to start with. Now, this is a man of many talents. This mm. is a man that is putting in a lot of work. Mm. So no weakness. 
regardless of what you are going through, do not let them see your weakness. That's the truth. No, no, no. If no, wait, wait, wait. I'm not just saying. It's his for, opinion. Wait, so I'm not just, Kuro, don't take it I'm not just saying it for a, from a man's point of view. Mm. I'm saying it from a general point of view. The moment you start letting people see your weakness, it start taking advantage. I show my weakness a lot of times, and when I'm out of that weakness, I'm. I mean, I don't myself. think like, you can't I don't even. I don't even think um, you you coming out and opening up to people. I will that understand this not... coming from women. I'm not trying to be misogynist out here. I'm not trying to be against feminism. This is what here. they call masculine toxicity. Toxicity. That's what your problem is. Right no, now. it's not masculine toxicity. It's what you are perceiving right now. But that's not what the issue is. That's your perspective. Okay, no, if let's, I, but wait, uh, Ewa, let's Ewa just say what she has to say so we can move to the next topic. And on no, what it's not moving to the next topic now. You why want to see that address, address, Why don't we address what exactly is going on? Because if you see it as a masculine toxicity, toxicity. See, see, I'm, I'm not here to address you. Uh, so I don't want to address yeah, what yeah, is going yeah, on. Yeah, but let us address the societal issue. Let us address everything that is going on. Okay, a I don't know if you saw a post that I shared yesterday. It was on my story and it was on um, Instagram, but I saw it on the popular blog on Instagram, Insta blog, where a lady saw a man crying on the roadside and then mm. she Who had says to a man should not cry? And um, so many people, even his colleagues, because he works with the popular people who call Okada riders, and even his colleagues did not take out time to come and check on him. You were like, ah, oh God, you be man now. Why just they cry? Why just they cry? Mm. At the end of the day, she and another man who came down from his SUV had to help him go to the hospital, take mm. care of his child. They realized that he was in a very bad place and he just needed that help at that time, right? But some people will come out and say, why would you stand there and be crying and all that? Mm. I mean, it's fine. If a lady is crying, you think it's cool, right? So why can't no, a man cry? No, who thinks it's cool for a lady to cry? Why can't That's you're getting I'm, Okay, so I'm saying it is cool for oh, anybody no. to Elsie, cry. Elsie, do you know the issue? You're not even letting me get to my point. Oh, yeah, get to your point. No, I'm telling you that it's okay for a man to cry. I've mm. cried numerous times. Publicly. <laughs> Exactly. Publicly. Not publicly. publicly. That's what I'm saying. It it's is okay for okay. a man to no. cry publicly. If, uh, if, uh, it is not okay for anyone to cry publicly. Uh -huh. Not so even a right. man and not even a woman. Okay, so you got it to your point. Wait, unless it is a case where you cannot handle. But in okay. Techno's case, he can handle it. Are you sure he can handle it? You're not Techno. Are you done, though? You don't know what he's going through, Ife. Mm. Okay, fine. Cool. Do you understand? We've never, it's not, we've never it's, been it's, in this shoe. But then, so let me say okay this to cry, we can, we, But it is not okay for anyone to cry publicly. Unless it is a situation that is at hand. If it is something that is premeditated and I have to type it and then I have to come in tears, it's not okay. Show no weakness. Okay, um, on Male the techno, on the techno story, I don't think taking down his all his Instagram pictures is even showing that he's a weak person. No, I mean we handle grief differently. We don't know what he's going through, so mm -hmm. you don't know his reasons why he took down the pictures. Mm -hmm. And I just, I like you said, I really feel bad for him because I can only imagine what he's going through right now. I don't know if we, we're not sure if he's about his health, family, work. We don't know what it is exactly. I think so they I, stated a few things like um, They were suggesting with, that they don't know anything. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. His yeah. relationship with Lolave. But regardless, I also want to flip the table. I'm sorry to cut you because um, during his interview, you realize that this um, phrase he used, tables will turn, is something um, he uses a lot. Mm. He probably is not going through anything. He just wants to be dramatic and deliver it on his own speech. Mm. Possibly. You know, tables return is something Techno uses a lot because he he's, he has this opinion or mindset that um, you cannot put you cannot push people down yeah, maybe because new. you are yeah, in a better place. Yeah, so the it's next possible time that Techno is very fine. Techno. Yeah, so let's just look at it. From it's also angle, possible that the next time you see um, posts from Techno. Mm -hmm. It will be something awesome. iconic. So I think so. But it when I say show no weakness, I don't. I, I really want us to address that so that we've well, addressed it. That I'm saying no, that no, 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 so that I don't I get taken. So we need to move on. We've spent a lot of time. On I don't want to get taken out of context. Oh. So I'm just going to address it real, um, real quick. If I say show no weakness, it's applicable to both male and female. Show no weakness. And when I say show your weakness, it's applicable to male and female. 
Moving on. We did not vote in Ibuka. This is coming in from Nollywood actress Lota Chuku. As um, I don't want to use the word attack, but she responded to a tweet from someone else that was displaying um, the vice president's mm. dashing white outfit, right? So, um, yeah, so that's the post. Is a VP out here pressing next, and then she was like, they should press infrastructure, police brutality, harassment, security, the economy, etc., with that same energy. We did not vote in Ebuka, and I'm sure you all understand why Ebuka, because Ebuka is a fashion, I he's a fashion king right now. <laughs> Anything he wears is awesome now, and mm. our VP was almost looking like Ebuka. Right, to the Abada. Yeah, but one thing I, I just want to add before you guys take it away is that I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the only person working so hard in that um, government. government has <laughs> to be their photographers. <laughs> because Buhari is always lit. There was a picture I saw. His Benz was there was a Benz on this side with the coat of arm, and then he was. <laughs> yeah, I, so I can tell you that <laughs> photographers. I'm trying sure to remember his name calling. now. I know his name. I never. Can you remember his name? I never is Benz. I need to give him a shout out. Like, in fact, I heard the story of how he even got to that job, and mm. it was just awesome. I need to remember his name. If I remember before the end of the show, so their photographer is doing an amazing job. I know so GD, thank you GD for doing your job. Like I hope that. every other person learns from you and do their job. I'm done. Mm. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the post, yeah. I never is very <laughs> <laughs> I replied to okay. When I read it, it was so funny, but I mean, she said what she said. Mm. Everybody's entitled to so their opinion. And I don't think she was even trying to like bring the vice president yeah. down. No, that's not what, that was not a him. Mm. She's just still trying to lay emphasis that we, things need to be done. Mm. I, don't, I don't see anything wrong in what she said. It might, it probably came out as a savage reply mm -hmm. or a savage tweet or And the bloggers are trying to add yeah. attack, attack the VP and all I, that. I don't though. think that yeah. she, she um, tweeted that just to attack him, no. She's probably just reminding them that to do their job. things need to get done. We just It's not about just looking good or taking pictures, like you said. We need to see good roads, good hospitals, and all of that. So I don't think she has any bad blood. Mm. I think it's by your move or your work. Okay, I'll, I'll correct Omo that. Bio, You're right? right. Omo I don't know about bio, okay. but I know it's Omo 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 okay. I'm very sure of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, first of all, <laughs> can you permit me on this table to express my love to Luta? Okay. Kiki. Hmm. All right, so Kiki, I knew there was a reason I had a crush Kiki, on Kiki, do you love him? I know you don't, so go ahead. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> New level this morning, and I'm just trying to catch up. KK, do you love me? Can you answer after this show, baby girl? I think she's married. Is she not? No, she's not. Okay. But Back she to what like Three kids. I don't care. Lota? Yep. Ah, oh yeah, three. crush over. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crush has candied. It's not candy crush. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, okay, so back to what I'm saying. Um, I knew there was a reason why I love this girl. And if you're talking about person next, if you're talking about looking good, if you're talking about all of that, I think um, it was the Independence Day. It's okay, okay to for the good. president and the vice president and birthday. everybody to look good. Even if I tried to look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, 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 no. Okay no, no, no. Let's even focus on what she's saying mm -hmm. because um, it was the Independence Day appearance, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Ushibanjo was looking awesome. Mm -hmm. In as much as we have, thank God we don't look like what we go through, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the fact that I'm going through enough mental stress about Nigerian problem, which we know that this man, Ushibanjo, or I mean, um, Vice President Oshin Banju, Baju. Just a VP and Oshin Baju okay, <laughs> has been the real man putting things together while Bubu has been away. Mm. He's done a lot of things. He's done a lot of things that we always commend him for. Mm. So looking good on your Independence Day is not something anybody should come against. But I understand where she's also coming from. That press next on police brutality, infrastructure, the economy, all of that. But I can tell you, in my own personal opinion, that President, um, Vice President Yemi, I'm almost calling him President, Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo 
is actually working really hard to make sure that this country is a better place, mm -hmm. better than the person that we actually call our president. So um, I understand you, Lota, but also focus your aggression towards the people that the aggression should be focused towards because Yemi is really trying. Okay, uh, I don't, Uncle I, Yemi, uh, uh, you want to add? Yeah, uh -huh. on what he first said, mm -hmm. as long as he's still in government mm -hmm. and he's still in power, if, if he's How much power does he have compared to the person? Uh, but he said he's doing so much. I mean, if, I, if so, he has yeah, so much okay, power okay. to do okay. so much, we can also put more pressure. If we can't get to the uh, president directly, if we're putting pressure on him, he will get to the president. Mm. So let's just see it that way. With All right. Full on your radio. Yeah, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, we'll definitely discuss more stories. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story Tiwa Savage and TV presenter Charles Anazodo clash over greeting. Okay. Uh, um, before we go on, please, can I just res um, take back what I said? I, res I referred to the um, vice president and as Yemi. Um, it's actually Professor Yemi Oshibanjo. And um, I take that back. And um, big respect to you, sir. And um, keep doing the good work. Okay, so um, Tiwa Savage apparently went to Beat FM, mm. right? And um, I don't know, I've never been to Beat FM, so I don't know how they are sitting arrangement or how the reception is, but mm -hmm. he was saying he was sitting somewhere and then she just came in and walked into the studio. So he decided to come on Twitter to give us a piece of his mind. I don't know. I don't, I don't know first. I have problem with people that have problem with you when you don't greet them, when they can always greet you first. Mm -hmm. If you really think that I should greet you first, you don't know, what if I didn't see you? What if, she, like she said in her own defense, she was running late for a show. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? They're always running late. <laughs> Jigga, they're <laughs> always running late, mm -hmm. so we can even believe that part that she was truly running late for a show. And I can imagine there'll be so much pressure, like, oh, where have you been? And she's just dashing in. If you really want, you can always say, ah, Tiwa, hi. It's mm -hmm. a different thing if she ignores you and just walk. Then, then you can now come. We will now say, okay, Tiwa, why did you ignore? Do you understand? But you didn't even say hi to her. But you have a problem with her not saying hi to you. I don't get it. I don't like that people always come out to make these celebrities look bad. Mm. He's also a celebrity, actually. Mm, like a but celebrity. Mm. Pass. You know, is Charles Salazodo is a respected man. I know so, he's a respected yeah. man, but is he as big as Tiwa? In his field, yes. <laughs> he's a spot man. Okay. Um, he's a freelance, um, what's it called? Um, Sports journalist. No, apart from sport journalist, um, what's the popular Super sports sports. station? Super Sport. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. He's a freelance um, presenter mm. for Super Sports. He works on um, Channel 4 and all other stations that are freelance um, sport journalists. So I respect where. Okay, if I let me just finish, then you take it. All right, go. Cool. Okay. So I was just going to conclude like, if you feel the need for somebody to greet you, mm -hmm. do you understand? You don't know what that, what's going on. I mean, some people walk into a place absent-minded, and if you don't call their name or something, they won't know. They'll just sit and still be looking at everybody. So if you really wanted to say hi or you wanted her to greet you, you can just say hi. Okay. And then if she ignores, then there'll probably be a problem at that point. But I don't think, I think it just got into his feelings. If I and basically, I think there's a sense of entitlement that comes with a lot of Nigerians. And um, 
I've seen in the Western world where a lot of people do not give relevance to whether you're being called a Mr. or a Sir, or a, they call you by your first name. In some relationships, when you get married to a woman that has all the kids, they call you by, if I get married to a woman that already has four kids, I will not be expecting the sense of entitlement that you should call me daddy. No, I'm not your daddy. Do you understand? Okay. So if you call me by Ife, I won't have a problem with that because that's how I, depending on the age though, that really comes into play as well. Depending on the age? Yeah, like, of the kids. Okay, like if your kids call you Ife? No. Yeah, if my kids okay, call me. Okay, let's stay in context though, so it's <clears> not become so wide that we now start arguing something else. So just... Let's, because bringing in family is actually a big thing and there's a whole culture behind that it with the Yorubas when you even get married forget about having four children or some children you get married and they tell you if that person was not giving birth to your presence you have to call them brother or sister so let's not get into the larger do you get what I'm saying no, but yeah but I think that's contest. like really old it still happens yeah, which but, is what I'm telling mm, you that, that I want to come into play with that sense of entitlement that a lot of Nigerians still have. Like, mm. um, some people will tell you, even up to dates, you get people that still call their sisters Auntie Biola, Auntie Bola, Auntie Shola. It's not wrong, is it? Mm. It's not wrong, mm -hmm. but is it really necessary? Mm. That's the question. Now, that auntie, has he added respect to your name if you think he's Auntie Mole disrespect <laughs> <laughs> Auntie I, I, I kiss me sir <laughs> I kiss me sir no, but, uh, sir you can't, with you... all due respect mm. how about all of that we have all of that going on in the industry do you understand so this sense of entitlement thinking um Etiwa Savi needs to greet you first probably because you felt you were in the same industry way before them but you're not even in the same industry with Siwa Savage, which is why I brought up this old sports thing. You're, an, you're a sport journalist, and Siwa Savage is an entertainer. So if a daddy freeze should have tweeted this, maybe we'll say, okay, they have a personal relationship. And for you to have the sense of entitlement, then it means that you probably have a personal, probably, mark my words, probably have a sense of entitlement to our greeting. Maybe you helped her in her early stage in her career. I don't think so, because it didn't sound I'm like I'm waiting for him to be done so I can say my own piece, because our time is almost up. OK. So if you feel like Tiwa is supposed to greet you, then to an extent, maybe you have a personal relationship with her, then you could have sent her a message like, ah, Tiwa, didn't you see me earlier in the day? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Not Instead coming of to coming Twitter, to right? Twitter mm. and writing all of that. So with all due respect, sir, Mr. Charles Anazodo, I just lost respect for you because if you're waiting for someone to greet you, then mm. that is just wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take it all the way from Tiwa and all the way from Charles. I mean, I respect Charles. I've been watching Charles from NTA, like, way Oh, you back. know him. I didn't know him till I this mean, morning. Yeah, I also that, knew his wife. The wife was also a presenter who started from Nigeria Television Authority at the time. And, I mean, they've been so long in the industry. And in this space, you can actually call them veterans to an extent, right? But in the space so, of sports. In the space of um, TV and entertainment sports. and presentation. So what I'm going to say is, take it, I said I want to take it away from them. It's not about T1 now, it's not about Charles. But I've, I feel like we should all be able to show some courtesy, regardless of what it is. So for example, I said I'm taking it away from them. So I walk into a place and I see people seated. Actually, let me use our reception as an example. There are so many people who sit there that I don't know. But I make it a point of duty to say hi when I'm passing. I don't know them. Usually, I mean. It's, if you're coming to see me, then I'll know you. But each time I'm passing there and I see people, I say hi, I say he hello, and I pass. It doesn't mean that you owe me anything, right? And then if I walk into a room, like what we have here, like a glamour and all that, I walked in, it's for me to say hi and pass. It doesn't mean that I have to overly say good morning, good night, but just acknowledge that people are there. So I'm just saying, for your own personal attitude, it's something that we should all try to do. Because if you walk into a gathering and you feel that people in that gathering should be the ones to just turn and recognize you and start saying hi, then maybe there is something. Now, this is off Tiwa and Charles. I'm just saying, going forward, maybe we should try to do that as young people and young generations are trying to also help each other grow, right? So 
I'm hearing time up and we have to go. <laughs> That's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time on social media or Twitter at also plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shoke. They make this a very interesting conversation. And the entire production team, my name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching. Thank you.